and welcome to Ham's Pokemon and today is part one of this wonderful Lost Thunder booster box opening. Really excited to get this booster box opened up on my channel. It is here a day early but probably will actually not be going up until actually I would guess a day or two after the release. So I'm going to go ahead get it opened up, talk a little bit about the set. It's a huge set, it's got 236 cards in it. It's the biggest set ever released in English by the Pokemon TCG company. And it's it's uh, got, I believe, seven Prism cards in it. So seven Prism cards, which is absolutely wild. Um, it's got a lot of GXs in it too. I think, if I remember rightly, did I say nine? We're gonna look at the quick look in the book here. I think it said there were nine, nine secret rares. There were 13 rainbow rares. So wow, what a huge set. And unfortunately, from the boxes I've opened, the pull rates are still the same. So um, <clears throat> not expecting to get any more than maybe like one secret rare or rainbow rare. <clears throat> Which is a little bit of a shame. Excuse my coughing, a little bit of a tickle in the throat. But yes, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a shame that I'm not, I'm not um, smash the camera there. Not going to get anything like more in terms of pulls. The only thing you might get more of, which I've seen, is you're a little bit more likely to pull a prism. Um, I've seen a few booster boxes getting four or five, which is which is really which is good. Yeah, I'm you know I'm definitely happy to. I'd rather get those than. Um, some of the other cards that are available, but I will somewhat slow roll because <clears throat> some of the um, trainers I haven't seen yet. I have opened an elite trainer box, as you can see on my channel, but this is um, the next product that I've opened. So there are a lot of things I haven't seen yet. So like this one, it says prevent all damage done to fairy Pokemon. This card is attached to you by attached to your opponents, psychic Pokemon GX and psychic Pokemon EX. That's pretty cool um, if you're playing against specific decks. Um, search your deck for up to three Pokemon with 68 points or less, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Uh, I feel like that could be useful if you're like desperate for a very specific Pokemon, but to take three seems a little wild and crazy. Um, reverse is a, a Lapras, and Lapras is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon that is a reverse <coughs> rare as well. Once during your turn, it says you may look at the top two cards of your deck, put them back in any order. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a very playable card because you can look at the top two and put them back in any order. So it's just giving you that little bit of um, added foresight and a Wobbuffet. So that's pretty cool. I haven't seen that Wobbuffet yet. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Maybe that's play Maybe that Lapras is playable. I'm sure people will just slate me if it's not. So. <laughs> That's fine, I don't mind. Pretty easy going anyway. So these packs, I will say like to touch, like they just feel like a smidge thin, um, like the cards do, which I've never really had that before, but that's okay. Whoa, knock the camera. Um, and there is a Stampler. So yeah, I don't know, there's, there's a lot of cards. Like I said, 236, that is an enormous set. That's just a crazy amount of cards. Let me reverse and I'm gonna zoom roll. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of the cards that I like. Probably the cards I'm chasing the most. I really like Tyranitar GX. Uh, there is oh, there's a white card code. There is a let's see what else have I seen that I really like. Um, Celebi's obviously in it. There is obviously Zero Aura, which is a new Pokemon, um, which I would like at some point. But I'm not like tired with a set like this when you've got 235, 36 cards. It's just a, it's so monstrous that you can't expect to get certain things. Lost Blender. Put two cards from your hand into the Lost Zone if you do draw a card. Hmm. Oh my goodness. And straight off the bat almost, there is a Suicune GX. And actually... If you watch my um, Elite Trainer Box opening, this is one of the cards that I did call out. I've sort of forgotten about it. But yeah, um, Suicune GX is, I just love the artwork on this. And it says, it's ability, once during your turn, before your attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may shuffle it and all the cards attached to it into your deck. So 
<coughs> this is for those um, when you're playing against those spread decks, or if you're playing, uh, or you've just used it and it's you, you know you retreat it with like 160 um, health on it or whatever, then you can yeah you can um, put it back into your deck and sort of save yourself the two prize cards. So yeah, pretty playable, I would guess. I mean, I, I don't play the game enough to say to outright say yes this is exactly um definitely going to be useful so this this one i know that this is being sought after for electric decks it says during this turn your electric pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your, to your opponent's active pokemon so i i, I trade with a guy online chinese tcg and he has already like singled that card out to me that it's a card that he wants so i know that it's it's playable to um the race play decks and stuff so um, there is a Raikou Reverse Rare. That is very nice looking. A lot of these have these balls of energy which are... Oh, sweet, Espeon. Wow. That isn't a hollow in this set. That's crazy. Um, yeah, these like balls of energy are, the, I believe, are like portals to the Lost Zone. That's what I've... That's what I understand from the few people that I've spoke to online about it. So, um... Yeah, if you're wondering, there's quite a few pictures with those, and I believe that like everyone that has one of those has like an attack that has something to do with with the lost zone. So like for instance, hits attack there says <clears throat> it's attack there says if you have a an electric energy card in the lost zone, this attack does 90 more damage, which that's pretty handy for just two energy, like effectively the 120 damage. That's pretty good and there's no like condition saying that it's only for like you can't use it next attack or, or anything like that so that seems pretty cool um i've seen that fairy charm before i've seen that professor's elms lecture before but pretty i really like the scyther alec too reverse is an alolan vulpix if you have a fairy pokemon in play but this pokemon has no retreat cost and a two cannon very nice. So what? <laughs> it's kind of a bonus from my last because when I the last booster box I opened, my last set, so I still saw. I know in the first nine pack, I didn't get a, I didn't get a um, ultra rare. So it's nice to have that sort of comfort of having a, a full art like in the bag. So <laughs> like straight away. Well, that's cool. It grew up. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a leaf Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. That's nice. I like that. I feel like that could be playable. Adventure bag. I'm not seeing that either. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon two cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. I feel like that is... What's happened here? That is fairly playable too. I've completely screwed this up. Let's put those there and these here. I like to keep my like trainers separate because I do trade off like some of my... I really like the artwork on that Zaki, by the way. Um, I do I do trade up like some of my um, trainers to other people, um, the people that play a lot. So I do like to keep them separate. So, you know, reverse is a carving, which is just a common, but it looks awesome. And a pyro, very awesome looking pyro. Normally has that like huge mane, and so that looks to me looks a little strange because it's sort of like wispy back behind its head, almost like hair, like on a horse. It's really odd. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool looking car. There's some really like the artworks on the the artworks on the the um, rares so far have been really really cool. So no prisms yet. Um, would love to pull some more of those. I did pull in my elite trainer box. If you go back and have a look, I did pull the um, Ditto, which I believe is like the most valuable prism from this set. It's running around about eight to ten dollars now. I mean this this granted that's pre set release so it's kind of hard to say whether it's actually gonna stay around that sort of value but um oh cool steelers but uh it's yeah at the moment it's running for between eight and ten dollars so really really pleased to pick that up before it like um i've had like warning from a couple of people that it might become uh it might end up being worth more money because it is an extremely playable and it's kind of like one of those situations like orangaroo who <clears throat> like wasn't really worth anything initially and then all of a sudden just gained more value um and i think that goes for like seven i think i sold one week or so ago for like seven bucks because i had a 
a spare one lying around. I wanted to generate some extra cash to buy some some cards online. Reverse Silky. And oh, that's a really cool Smeagol. Very cool name. Yeah, so I wanted to generate like a little bit of extra cash, so uh, sold one off for seven bucks, which is I feel is pretty good. So another green card code. So <laughs> interestingly enough, I believe yeah, that is eight out of the nine card packs were uh, green card codes, which is pretty horrendous. But like I said though, I'm like I just wanted to get one. <laughs> under my belt but like I was really kind of hoping for a little bit more than just one hit um, but I think I can see a prism in the background I do and it is a Lusamine you can play this card only if your opponent has exactly three prize cards remaining which seems like kind of a heavy thing to put down really because that's kind of hard to get but um, prevent all damage done to your ultra beast by attacks during your opponent's next turn so it's kind of it's pretty heavy really I don't really like that beautifully interesting but I have one nice thing is I haven't had any repeat. I don't think I had a single repeat rare though. So bear in mind, eight of those nine packs were just regular rares. They were all different, all eight of them. I mean, that's an advantage of these massive sets is that you're gonna get like a lot of variation. So look, I mean, eight different non-hollow rares. I'm trying to, I'm sort of fishing for some bonuses here really out of this because that's not very uh that wasn't the greatest start to the box but i do really really like that suicune that suicune gx i'll just pop it up right up here one more time just so you guys can have a look at the wonderful texture on that and the excellent artwork and two reverse rares and of course the the uh hollow so the prism lusamine which is you know really really cool looking card all the same so thanks a lot guys for popping on by i hope you uh, enjoyed this video really look forward to opening the second batch because i feel like when you get eight car eight greens out of nine like that the second set behind that is going to be pretty strong or like one you know there's going to be quite a few hits in one of these three videos to remaining so thanks a lot guys for popping on by please like comment subscribe and until next time goodbye